Hi everybody. Okay, so what I want to talk today about is um, why you shouldn't use a double return uh, to separate your paragraphs and uh, how to fix it. Because sometimes we get text from other people, Word documents, that's how they've done it. Um, and importing it can be kind of a nightmare if you don't know how to take care of it. The reason why we don't want to do it is because it just doesn't offer you as enough finesse over how you set your paragraphs. A lot of times the double return, it just looks too clunky. Um, I'll show you here. That's just too much space in between the paragraphs. They look too separated. The one on the left looks a little better. It's a little more, um, I don't know, refined. Uh, and so you will want to be able to do that. The easiest way to do that is to build it into your paragraph style. The one over here on the left um, is body copy. It's one I set up previously. What you want to do is double click on that and then it'll pull up a dialog box. It gives you all sorts of options. What we're after is the indents and spacing. And there's space before and space after. Space after is what concerns us. I've got preview on so you can see that any changes you make in this are going to show up in real time. And you can see when I increase that space from seven to nine points, it bumps it up a bit. Maybe we were like eight. I test printed this and seven looked pretty good to me. But um, again, it's kind of up to you. But this allows you that option and that choice. Whereas the double return, it's a, it's a straight, um, straight shot. So once you've settled on that, you go ahead and click OK, um, and that'll set it. One thing I forgot to mention was that there's something you may not be familiar with. Um, you can see on here, I've got these little paragraph marks. There's little dots in between the words. Those represent spaces. This obviously is the return. Over here is the uh, dreaded double return. Um, and you can see those uh, by going to type, um, show hidden characters and it pops those up. And that way you can identify all sorts of things that are going on. Um, like I said, sometimes you're gonna get text from people, authors for instance, because they've typed it up in a word processing program. Um, this is how you get it. There are lots of tips and tricks um, that I'm not gonna cover in this video as to how best to de-stylize stuff that comes from Word. But in here we're gonna assume that uh, this is a holdover, this double break. So the easiest way to get rid of this on a global scale, you could go through here and just hit delete, um, but that's not very nice. Uh, we've got a lot of paragraphs, maybe this is a 200 page book. You wouldn't want to do that all day. The easiest way to do this is to use the um, find and replace. You can, go, you can find this by going edit and then uh, find change, or you can just simply hit command F if you're on a Mac. So this will give you all sorts of options. You can click this little button over here and it'll, you can select for, you can tell it to find certain symbols, for instance, certain, if you want to find all the M dashes in the document, you can certainly do that. Um, what I've done here is uh, I'm telling it to look for double returns. And ultimately what I want to change it to is a single return. So we want to get rid of one of those. So once I've typed that in to this, uh, this command box, I click find, and it'll show me the first of those two. Now, I have the option at this point to change or change all. Um, we're just going to hit change for the first one. But you can see it took care of that. If you click find next, I'll show you the next one. If I click change all, it'll pop up a little dialog box and it'll have done it for me. And you can see that all of those double spaces are gone. Now, if this were, if you were still in the process of styling this, you can go ahead and close that. The next thing to do is to double click on this and again, go back to the indents and spacing. You can see that there's no space after. And what we'll do is we'll bump that up. And you can play with this until it looks uh, decent to you. Do a test print and see where you're at.